What's going on, Giants fans? Happy Friday. Everybody, listen up. Jones haters, Jones supporters, Giants fans all over. Relax. Let's bring it down a notch. Let's relax. It's Friday. It's TGIF. It's the freaking weekend, baby. I'm about to have me some fun. Let's all enjoy the weekend. Franchise tag period starts in a couple days. Let's just wait and see what happens. You got the Jones haters yelling with the Jones supporters arguing who knows more about football and i'll admit i'm one of them i can't stand all these people that are oh he wants 50 million oh he wants 45 what a greedy sob who cares who cares he's able to ask for whatever money he wants whether he's deserving of that money or not who cares if you had a job interview are you going to come in when they ask what kind of salary are you looking for are you going to lowball yourself or are you going to start high and then eventually know that you're going to have to meet in the middle somewhere and agree on terms and on a contract. That's exactly what happens in sports, especially football. Daniel Jones came in. The Giants are going to say, what do you think you're deserving of? He's going to give us an answer. He's going to give us some numbers. They're going to be like, yeah, we kind of see you here. Let's meet in the middle. It's like you go to a pawn shop. You want to pawn a necklace. You got this for three grand. It's 10 years used. You ask, they ask you how much you're willing to sell it for. You say, well, I got it for three grand, so I want three grand. They're going to be like, yeah, I'll give you 800 for it. You're going to meet in the middle. Hey, can you do 1400 Nah, I can only do 1350 Boom, there you go. That's how negotiation works. That's how you negotiate. Everyone needs to stop acting like they are investors. They know how to deal with money. They know, that they know more about Brian Dayball, more about football than Brian Dayball and Joe Shane. You don't. You don't. Honestly, you don't. If you did, you'd be in their shoes, and they'd be in our shoes on the couch, eating Cheetos, hot fries, drinking Miller Lights, and complaining every day on Facebook like you guys do. But they don't. And you don't. You're not a GM. I'm not a GM. Everyone needs to shut the fuck up and let them do their fucking jobs. At the end of the day, if Daniel Jones does make $40 million, so be it. It's not the end of the world. The Giants aren't stupid right now. They are run by very smart people in the front office. Joe Shane knows what the fuck he's doing. Brian Dable knows what the fuck he's doing. Just shut the fuck up and let them cook, okay? It's like you go to a restaurant and Gordon Ramsay is the top chef. Are you going to go in there and say, yeah, you're, you're doing the linguine and clam is a little wrong? No. You're going to sit the fuck down. You're going to drink your water, eat your fucking bread, and wait for the entrees to come out. And it's going to be delicious. So everyone just needs to stop pretending they're experts. Everyone needs to shut the fuck up and let them figure it out. At the end of the day, they are going to do what's best for the New York football giants. Whether you're happy about it or not, it doesn't matter. It's out of our control, so why worry about it every fucking day of the week? Every single hour of the week? Arguing about the same fucking shit. Isn't it annoying? All you do is fucking complain. Oh, he's not worth 50. He's not worth 45. Shut the fuck up. Let them do their football jobs. Let the football people handle their business. And every one of us can relax knowing that we don't have to worry about shit because it has nothing to do with us. We are fans first and fans only. So stop telling Daniel Jones what he deserves. You are not Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones has more talent in his big toe than all of us combined in our whole entire bodies. So we all need to just collectively shut the fuck up and let the football people do the football moves, okay? I trust Joe Shane. Brian Dable trusts himself. I trust both of them. John Mara trusts both of them. Just let them do their jobs. Honestly, just let them do their jobs. And realistically, if Daniel Jones gets $40 million, doesn't mean that's going to be his cap hit. There are ways around it. There are ways to have incentives and bonuses. Everyone just needs to shut the fuck up. And I love you all. And to all, good night. And let's go Giants.